Hey there, everybody. You know, sometimes I'll hear things that people say in class and I'll try to remember to make a video of them. And then sometimes more than one person will say it in different classes and I realize, okay, I definitely need to make a video about this. Yesterday, a couple of times in first certificate preparation, a couple of people had problems with the difference between dear and estimated when they're starting the formal writing task on the first certificate. Okay, so just to clarify what the difference is between using dear and estimated, first things first, don't use estimated as a way of starting a letter. In English, formal and informal correspondence always begins with the word dear. And there are two ways you can do that. If it's a formal letter, or you're writing to somebody you don't know well, or you've never met, you say dear, plus Mr., Mrs., or Ms., if you don't know if the woman is married, plus the last name. That's the formal way of doing it. The informal way to start a letter to somebody you know, or somebody who's in your age group is dear plus the first name. Okay? Why? Because estimated doesn't have anything to do with letters. Estimated is the adjective you use when you're talking about more or less of a quantity or a number. Estimated comes from the verb estimate, which is to calculate how much there is of something, especially when you don't know exactly. So for example, the estimated cost of the project will be about $5,000. More or less, I don't know exactly, but it should be in that area. So just to recap, one more time, dear is the word that you use to open both formal and informal letters in English. Estimated is the adjective that means the same as approximately or more or less of a number. So, I hope you found that useful. If you found that useful, tell your friends. If it wasn't useful, tell me. And visit the blog at stop-spanglish.blogspot.ca or www.stopspanglish.com.